to this episode of What a Horse. I'm here with Jerry Williams. Yes, sir. You gonna take us to a commercial break? Yes, I'm gonna try to. All right, let me see how you do it. We'll be right back after these messages. Good. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Paul is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Paul is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you out, because only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, Assistant Smokey Bear, call me Papa Bear, because I'm grilling up dinner. <laughs> do you get it? Yes, good job. So, what should I do with all these coals? Don't just toss them out. Put them in a metal container, because those embers can start a wildfire. I understand. The stakes are high. Ha, 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 ha. See, Smokey thinks I'm funny. Perfection Leather, a division of the Winter Circle. Our high quality products are handcrafted at our manufacturing facility in Shelbyville, Tennessee, using the very finest Wicked and Craig bridle and harness leather. All hides are thoroughly inspected to ensure consistent thickness and a smooth finish. They are also examined for any imperfections that would reduce the quality of our products. After inspection of the hides, each piece is hand cut or die cut to the product's precise specifications. Each component is then assembled by an experienced craftsman. The assembled product is then stitched by an experienced operator using state-of-the-art lock stitch machinery. The stitched product is then finished and hand polished to their completion. After completion, each product is carefully inspected for quality assurance. All of Perfection Leather products are available at the Winter Circle Horse Supply. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. 
Yo, I'm one tomorrow. That's a fact. <laughs> Welcome back. A few announcements I want to make. Uh, number one, I want everybody to keep Dave Roberts in his prayer. Yes. He, uh, he got thrown off and banged up pretty good. Pretty good indeed. And also, uh, I want to take this time to send our best regards to uh, the Billy Wood family. Uh, super, super nice guy. Uh, every word printed there is about as truthful as you can get on Billy Mack. He was just one of those people that always had that smile on his face. Yep. Always something nice to say. And uh, as Debbie used to say, now Jerry, he, he's, he's a banker, so he's kind of <laughs> sticky with his money. But he was the owner of I Am Jose along with his wife Debbie. And I just want them to know that they are our prayers are with them. Three-time world grand champion. Yep, he's a good one. Yeah, he was. He is now. He is, but yeah. Billy Mack was. Yeah. yeah. Super good guy. Super good guy. He will be missed. Believe me, he will. I didn't realize he was that old. I really didn't. And one more thing, I want to. Say, it, it, a lot of people, Jerry. I know you. You've prayed for Judge. I prayed for him. I think everybody's prayed for him. But uh, prayers work. Yes. Now they can think whatever. But I want y'all to take it. This is Judge. Now Judge was in a pretty bad accident. But watch what's happening. He's hunting dinosaurs. And then there's one over here on the couch. Huh? You can find it? Okay. okay. I'm just so glad he's. Oh, I'm tickled death at that kid. All right. He done spotted that dinosaur. Can you climb up there? But I know Justin and his wife have been tore up. It had to be. Yeah, he sees it now. He wants it. Watch him throw that leg up there. Right. Right. Do you want right. me help you? Okay. So one foot up. Ready? One foot up. There you go. You, 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 that just shows how tight this industry really is. I mean, right. they, everything we do. Uh, now I'm going to get on to something else, though. Uh, your buddy. It was your buddy. <laughs> no, nah, I'm going to be honest. It wasn't, it wasn't your buddy. But Clancy C. passed away on the 6th. And this man has caused more problems in this industry. But... I guess the worst thing that I saw was Marty Irby uh, made a post and said that the that he had been going downhill ever since he was attacked in North Carolina. And uh, people can watch it. Right there he is. He's walking around free as a scout. But what he does, he always want, wanted to video children. And uh, that's a youth class there. And they told him not to. He does it anyway. And when they try to stop him from videoing, I believe a lady holds her hand up in front of his camera. He gets kind of irate. And anyway, he pepper sprays them to the point they have to swap sides of the ring. Yeah. They have to take the horses to the other side. And there's Tim Hatfield out there, the... TQP, and see she's trying to stop him from videoing now, but he ain't he ain't gonna have no part of it. But that that was always the problem. He he's always ready to cause a problem, and then wanted to claim that he was the one that was offended. 
but he, he didn't mind what he said, what he did, who he pushed, who he just, I don't know. But I do know that uh, we no longer have to contend with him. Yes, you're right. Uh, I didn't know it, but he had been in the hospital since January the 2nd with a, uh, with a lung condition or something, but he expired on the, on the 6th. Constantly wanting to cause people to get anything he could do. I remember he he tried to, well, he tried to agitate you. you yeah, that's right. You know, I, <coughs> people, you never know what goes through people's mind and stuff like that and why you want to cause controversy, you know, at different places and stuff like that, you know. But I just hope now he's at peace and rest. Well, now, he you know. did it for money. Mm -hmm. He would throw that camera right in your face and dare you to say something about it. Yeah. Uh, like that was his right, and, and that is not his right. People always talking about their space, their space. Well, he would get in on your space in a heartbeat. But anyway, he is no longer with us, and there's a lot we can do now that maybe we won't have anybody else like him that is as bad as he was about twisting facts and taking video and dropping frames and trying to make a horse look bad that when nothing was wrong. Yes. And see, they finally just moved the horses to where he couldn't continue to do what he was doing. So. Now, down in Mississippi, I will say this. When they started, there he is. He's on Jamie now. He just yeah. got through trying to get Jamie but anything he could do to cause conflict. But I'm going to tell you, when the police got there, I think now he went over to you. Yeah. Uh, when the police got there, yep. Uh, that's you, Jerry. <laughs> what is he saying to you? I don't know. You know, they always say, if you don't have nothing good to say about somebody, don't say nothing at all. Don't say nothing at all. You know. But he just always just, just like to call stuff and try to get everybody riled up. Well, I noticed that once the police got there, they put an end to it right quick. Yes. And that's that's the that's the good part about it. Shame that a man passes that is despised as much as he is. Come back, he's going to be charged with trespassing. Come back, I'm telling you now. A person to make a statement that from the Ash for Horse show that he was going down here, he only like he was too downhill right there, you know. No, he was. He was. That was his fault. Yeah. And he he was causing as much trouble as he ever did. So that that's just. Uh, that's just another way of twisting facts to gain sympathy for someone that undeserving of the sympathy. Yeah. And that's it in a nutshell. A good friend of mine sent me a video, and uh, he said, if you haven't got anything to talk about, I got something you can talk about. So uh, here we go. This is Scout. Megan has a new ride. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Mike Davis sent me them, and I told him, I said, well, she got her a good one. Yep, she does. Now, here she comes. Now, Megan can flat ride. Oh, yeah. Megan they, always now, She's ride. going to cause a lot, a lot of commotion in her class. You yeah. can bet on it. Megan always been a real good rider. Well, she she's flat getting it done right there. I'm just wondering if we're going to see her tonight. This right here is a treatment that we had to go. That they said that wasn't a fungus, and it wasn't an injury. 
it was, he, he, I guess he got stuck with something. Yeah. Got, but uh, what did he call it? A bacterial? Bac yeah. But I tell you, that, that machine surely works. Hey, hey, yeah. tell me about it. It yeah. took that knot down quick. We had him x rayed and everything. Yes. And once he got done, they was uh, Dr. Bennett, Dr. Mullins worked on him, Dr. Mid Bennett worked on him, and uh, now he's, he's, yeah. I looked he at knows. him yesterday morning, he was looking good. All right, what are we going to do now? We're going to go, we got the host, Penny Royal. We did do a couple of victory passes from the Penny Royal. They, they had a good show, good horses. Right here was one of them, Self Made Money and Jack Burkle. That's a nice horse, real nice. Oh, Lord, yeah. That's a nice man. I got to meet him that, that morning. Yeah, he had breakfast with us. Breakfast with him. You know, we had a long talk yeah. about Congratulations once again. Real pleasant guy to talk to. Super good. And then always this next one is uh, one that we'll see a lot of. That, that's one reason we're having the first time of the show. So, so Allie Joe and Eli can't get in yeah. there and whoop up on somebody. First night out in Allie Joe Jacobs for Brad Gregory. Country pleasure youth winner. You know, I watched her that whole class, and she definitely had control of that horse oh, yeah. 100%. Once again, congratulations, Ms. Jim McConnell told me that she was some kind of jockey. But I've been watching some videos on her riding switchblade there, and I'm going to tell you, she's I, done, doing a real good job. She, she is, uh, but if you ever notice, she... She concentrates. Yeah. Now she does. She she concentrates on everything she's doing. She watches it. She she's ready for it. So I'm hoping that we see her, and we probably will. We'll see her at the trainer show, which starts tonight, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, at six o'clock. They will enter the ring. If you need any information, it's going to be short short haul for them to do it. You can call D Cantrell at 706-366-1011. Or Mulaney Bryant, Bryant, nine three one six three nine nine five eight seven or three five eight seven. Judges are Brent Greider, Dickie Shrivner, and David Sisk. I'm looking for a super good show. Of course, I hope everybody come out and support it and watch. Well, the USDA has come out and said that some some things about they would be no refer backs to the DQP and things like this, but. Uh, I can't understand why they they can refer one back, but if the DQP still can't find it, like up there in the Penny Royal, uh, I talked to DQP. He tried his best to make the horse move. He couldn't make it move, but she says she got it moved and gave him a ticket anyway. So why would they want to refer him back? That yes. It's not going to make any difference it's, whatsoever. That's right. Except for them to try to put pressure on the DQP to do something that he knows wrong, yeah. which I think is wrong, and it's unethical for them to do it. If they're, they're going to give a violation, turn a horse down no matter what, then don't put it on somebody else. Stand up. Be a man about it. Uh, you do it. Because I'm going to tell you, they turned one of mine down. I wouldn't take it from a DQP if he passed it. I'd yes. say, say no. Nah. They're the ones that turned him down. Let them do it. Yeah. I mean, that, to me, that's only right. Okay, let's see where we're going now, Jerry. Where you want to go? We could go watch some of the uh, trainers because I've run, I've run out about other than the trainer show tonight, and everybody's talking about it. Oh yeah, everybody's talking about that trainer show. And you know, I, I think it's gonna be a real good show. A lot of people gonna come out and watch and see it. I'm gonna say we're going to. It's a four night show. Yes. So I'm going to say we're going to go over this many horses. What yeah, do you think? I will say so. All right. I and we're going so. to remember next week. Yep. All right. All right. You want me to do it? Yes. Go ahead. And <clears throat> watch this. <laughs> Let's see how you, what you got. We're right going to take a short pause for our sponsors, and we'll be right back. How's that? That's, that sounds like a winner right there. <laughs> we got her done. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse. 
But I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. What does Habitat for Humanity build? Hope. Opportunity. Joy and togetherness. Growth and transformation. Strength and stability. Community. Home. Hey everybody, I'm Garth Brooks. And I'm Trisha Yearwood. And nothing illustrates the beauty of what we can build together like Habitat for Humanity. A safe, decent, affordable place to call home is a canvas full of possibility. In our work with Habitat, we've seen what's possible. Financial stability, peace of mind, room to grow and play, better health, brighter futures. In your community and around the world right now, neighbors are helping neighbors build masterpieces of their own. Visit Habitat.org to learn more and get involved today. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go back to last year's trainer show, show some victory passes from that. Yeah. Just let people know that, and then look and see how many of these horses show back this year. Yes. But before we do that, I'm going to talk about that horse right there. We got two of them in there. We got Switchblade and Allie Joe, and I believe Cole Hans in there too. But Jimmy Mackett, I, I asked. Oh, <laughs> Mac Deakle about it, and I said, look like she's got him under control, and he just replied yeah. back, completely under control. And Jimmy Mac says that she can flat ride. So, Jimmy I've Mac says you videos, can I've been watching videos, and I'm going to tell you, she's, she's been looking tough. real good. Yep. I'm looking forward to seeing her in the ring. Me too. Now, that's what I want to see her out there getting it done, and I know she will. All right, now we're going to watch some victory passes from last year's trainer show and see how many of them show again this year we'll guess as we go through them yeah. i say yes that we'll see this one it's a two-year-old mare this it was a reserve winner last year sky's masterpiece you know eddie don't you yeah mm -hmm. Tanner does a good job, so Tanner you you really can expect job. them yeah. to be there. We'll see how many we get right and wrong. You picked that one right there. So yeah. that's Jake Jacobs on brain power. What do you think? I say he'll be there. I think you're probably right. That's one thing about Jake Jacobs now. He likes to show. But now he'll have a new owner this year. Yep. I believe, yep. I believe he I believe that whole so. Yeah. You 
believe that horse back over Dick's now. Well, I'll tell you what now. Dick gets along with that horse got, mighty he, good. He got his mighty number. good. He got his number. A keen thing in Bob Adcock. I would say yes. You probably see him. Unless he goes and gets him a new one. <laughs> you can't ever tell about Bob yeah. Adcock now. I do want to thank Bob, though, because he's one of the sponsors for our show down in Lynchburg, Tennessee. What was that horse sold for? Some shavings? Yeah, bag of shavings. <laughs> sure is nice. He is nice. I'm dancing for dollars. I say we're going to see that horse, but I'm going to say Molly's going to be riding. If Molly's not riding, Taylor will probably be on it. That's a good mare. A real good mare. Right there, she's limitless and Molly Walters. On that one, I don't know. I don't know. She might wait to the Jimbo yeah. show, the show over yeah. there. In, in, East Severe, Tennessee. in East Tennessee. I'll tell you what, she's a great mare. She is a good one. That's one thing for sure. I heard, I don't know if it's true, and I need to confirm it with Molly, but they were doing some embryo transplants with this mare. Okay. I mean, that, that's what I heard. I, I've not confirmed that, but uh, sounds like a good idea. Now, we ain't for sure on these predictions, but we just, this, me and Jerry just talking. Yeah, yeah that's ourselves. fact. That's fact. We're just talking. We're that's just all talking. we're doing. We're just talking. That's it. Just, uh. Visualizing. Two year old stallions reserve eastbound and down. Derek Monahan. Shane may have sold that one. Might have. There's a lot of them. Things change. Ownership changes on these horses sometimes when they really make a good show. Someone's always out there. Now, uh, that one right there, I, I just, I'd hate to call it, because that one right there is going to be in the running for the roses oh, this yeah. year for sure. Yeah, we liable to see that one. Yeah. Knowing Kenny, Kenny likes to show, so. Uh, now that's depending on Kenny still having or not. You know yep, Kenny, he sells a lot. He sells a lot too. He sells a lot. Boy, wouldn't it be nice if we had a crystal ball? 
Yeah. Be safe. This one won't be there. Now I bet you this one is. Yes. To me, Taylor and that horse, they, they get it done, but. comes up with the yeah. reserve, and I can tell you that. And a lot of times when she gets that reserve, she should have had the other one, in my yeah. opinion. We're, we're going to do that opinion. Allie Jo! I bet you we see her there. Yeah. You can almost bet the form on it. If she sees a show within a hundred miles, yeah. I can see her talking to her dead now. Yep. I really think we ought to be there, don't you? <laughs> She is a good rider now. Yes, I, I like to watch her. I'll see that horse you'll see him. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you, I don't think Edgar will be on it. Taylor. Yeah. Taylor, from what I've, from what I've heard, T Taylor loves that horse. But now, with Taylor on him, he doesn't take a step backwards. No. Really doesn't. I like that horse, man. I like yeah, I, I like the way it goes. He, he, yeah. He's timed up great. Now he really is. I'm big enough. You know, when I talk to Beth, they're, they're talking about, was talking about swapping some horses around. Uh -huh. So with this one right here, you may see BB on this one instead of Maxine. Yeah. From, if I understood Beth correctly. But you can bet you're going to see that horse. Cause those yeah. girls, they love to show. Oh uh, yeah. I see that horse, yeah. but I don't believe Jimmy will be on it.
Mm -mm. Can't wait to see her on that horse. Honors image. This is a good one. Yeah. Shane Porterfield was the owner. You know, Shane's got a good lineup. Oh, yeah, he do got a bunch of good horses. Shane's a real nice guy. He's super, he, he's super good guy. Yeah. He, uh, and he's, every now and then he shows. I, I'd like to see him show more because he's a good jockey. A lot of people, though, would just rather watch their horses than ride them. Mm -hmm. That is nice right there, though. Hey, you can talk all day about this one right here. Yeah. World champion, world grand champion. He's about as good as they get. Oh yeah, he's a nice horse, a real nice horse. Real good guy at riding too. That's a fact. Bruce McDonald's super good guy. He is. I was thinking you'd see this horse right here. Hey. Georgia, Florida. And we'll probably see this one, but he'll have a new jockey. Yeah. I told Bruce that horse was a whole lot bigger than I thought he was. Mm -hmm. Right there he is, buddy. Mark one. No, it would not surprise me to see Molly on him. Oh, yeah. That's a real nice horse. He gets it done. Oh, yeah. Nothing no, no better than that. Nope. All right. I think I'm going to do it this time. Go ahead. I'll let we'll you. be right back after these messages. Can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember. You threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? Hand me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. I did it when Felicia left. I'll figure it out. I know you will. But you don't have to do it alone, that's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. It can be a real pain sometimes, you know that? Mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov slash reach. Why do each one? So uh, get your cat all familiar, sit yourself with the rules. Want everybody to know the rules of the games we're here today? So! You so, got so, the team, the so! Mark MG. So, Jim Howdy, there's your black stud coat by I Am, three-time world grand champion of the world, I Am Jose is his daddy. There's opportunity. The bid, 27, where you at, Mark? 26, 27, 27, black stud, put it down to a dunk. So, so, you want me to play 600, 2600 here, and then 56 and I have 5600. Down to that other five beer six. So, 5,500, you bought 5,500. And so, 1,100, Mark Hall, take it. Oh, 1,100, you bought. So, so, so. You break one, break the next one. That's the real deal, guys, right here. Opportunity is knocking right here, Adam Johnson. Here's a horse to take it home. Right I said this, but so, so, so. You bought it.
six-time world champion in the amateur and open competition, four times amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease, but most of us know little to nothing about it. People can be born with valve problems, or they can develop from cardiovascular disease, infections, certain cancer treatments, and age, with older adults at the highest risk. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. Valve disease can cause a number of symptoms, including lightheadedness, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, tiredness, swelling of the ankles and feet, and not feeling like yourself in general. But is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. So listen to your heart. See your healthcare professional. Discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms. And go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. More of What a Horse coming up. All right. We're going to do something special now. We're having a show in Lynchburg for the youth. Uh -huh. And we got a trainer show coming up tonight. So I wanted to just do a little special video that's just a tribute to our youth. And that's what we're going to do. So we'll just sit here and talk and let the announcer do his thing. Yep. That's what this whole industry is about, these young, these young kids and stuff like that. That's it, the youth. The youth. That's our the future. Youth. That's the future. If people don't pay attention to that, then... Uh, and I want to do one other thing. I want to thank uh, the trainers and the individuals who are helping judge the Lynchburg show because they're sacrificing their time and all of this at no charge to help our youth. And, yes. and I'd appreciate it if everybody down there would just uh, run into a judge and just thank him. You know, a good thank you goes a long well, way. exactly right. I just get really excited about watching these young kids ride and stuff like that, too. showing horses. Nice, talented horses in there. Hey, what are you? They can flat ride and they yeah. got some good ones to ride. Oh, hey, look me over. I'm a Blue River winner at Woodbury. Annie Oakley. Oakland Kate Davis riding Ashton Moore Hamlin. Oakland Kate Davis on Century Unionville. Special thanks to Stewart Special Events Murfreesboro for their sponsorship of the class. Now let's take a look at our Blue River winner. Hippo Jen. Caitlin Peel of the Alderman Rider. Austin Burrow of North Carolina. Let's take a look at our little winner coming around the back of the dog. 
Some real nice horses. As you have been sexed and making a good bit of the ride, she's from Science Hill, Kentucky. Real nice horses. Give Griffin Sexton at the Megalodon a nice round of applause as he leaves the show ready. I am busting loose. That's Caitlin Duchelle making the move of the ride. Kelly Duchelle on the pitch. That's a good one. That is a good one. That's Woodbury. Give Caitlin a nice round of applause as she leaves the show. MVP. That's Phoebe Beasley making the Blue Ribbon Ride from Athens, Alabama. Give Phoebe a nice round of applause as she comes down the South Rail. Scarlett O'Hara, T.S. Entry home for Terry Smith, Shelbyville. Give Harper a nice round of applause as she leaves the show ready. Harper Ryder. Down, drag out. Joe Bannis, Caleb Balcom. Joe Bannis on Central Lawrenceburg, North Carolina. That's always been a good horse. Oh, right yeah, there. that horse, that been a good horse. At Piper Antique and My Little Pony, handled, handled by Rachel Teague from Bellbuckle, your lead line winner. That's My Little Pony and Piper N.T. Congratulations. I'll see Piper probably riding a new mount this year yep. in the lead line class. Take another look at the I believe you're right now. Deborah Deal, mm -hmm. your amateur trail pleasure winner. You know, I've seen where Bell, they've got, uh, 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 look like Bobby Daniel's Deal. wife is, is going to have the uh, Cornersville show. Okay. From what I saw. Jonathan Lawler and Miss Lulu Lennon, your geek riders on the walk. That's a good thing, because that, that, that's a show we do not need to lose. No. Lewisburg, Miss Lulu Lennon. Oh, there's no rumors about it, Wyatt. You're a Blue Ribbon winner here in Cornersville. You know, we got some great youth riders. We just need more classes oh, yeah. for them. That's right. And Joanne Morgan on the entry. Oh, that's she's throwing shade and storm sims. Your youth riders, 12 to 17 specialty blue ribbon winner here in Cornersville. She's throwing shade and storm sims. Congratulations. <laughs> Lead line, the flat shot, the pad, yeah. we got it. That's a nice horse right there. Yeah, it is. You know, a lot of people say judging flat shot horse clashes are not easy, but to me, I look at what they're doing. Yeah. That's a real nice one. You know, sometimes I'd like to go back and get the victory passes that we ran the last 22 years yeah. of the youth. Because, believe me, some of them that you look at them and, and see them today. I tell you, that youth class now got so many good horses in that zone, man. It's. Right. It's a hard club class to judge because every way you look around, you got a good you horse. got a good horse in there. You know, many years ago you had, you know, they had good classes, but you had 
three or four good ones, and then the rest of them is horses. But now every horse you look in there is a, is a good horse. Well, our breeding programs, Jerry, have got to the point that we're not producing ragtime horses. We're we're producing walking horses. Yes. And if you look, there, when people talk about a cull, still now we're looking at maybe 15%. It used to be about 10, but now it's about 15%. But we used to have maybe 10% that they'd say would make the performance horse. Yeah. Now it's more like 15%, but that other 85%, now the majority of them, a very high percentage of them are going to make flat shot classes. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's so many different things that you could do. Now that young man right there, we're going to see him in the saddle this year. Yeah. By himself. That's Belfast, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. The Wood Ribbon Ride in the class for the Junior Riders Country Yeah, that's Belfast. That's a little wear girl there. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you didn't look at all the different horses in this. I, I'm just sitting here looking. I said, every time you look up, you see another good one yeah. with, a, with a child on it. Performance 
winner. Crimson coach and Jamin Smith, congratulations, Tennessee. Coachman and Abby Smith, congratulations. Well, how's it going to go tonight? I think it's going to go real good. I got a good feeling about it. I hope your feeling comes true, buddy. Uh, I got a good feeling. I got a demonstration to do to, during the day, and then I'm heading straight to the horse show. At a work. So we'll At get there, and, and we'll, we'll see. But I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm hoping that everything goes smooth as silk, and that... Uh, I'm just hoping we have a great show. Me too. A lot I of am. horses, a lot of good horses. A lot of people in town and they're feeling the, the good vibe around. That's right. Yeah. That's it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you again next week with another episode when we will come and show you how this year's trainer show went. That's from right. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights. So, see you next week. Good luck to everyone out there. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, What a horse! I know they're talking about me, of course, and I'm gonna be in that winner's circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking. Thank you.